What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back and guys we got another video for you today. As for usual guys, we're so close to 1k. We are about 30 subs away. Guys, please if you're watching this drop the sub. Let's hit 1k. We'll get that pack opening with my grandpa. And guys, if you did not if you did not watch my stream yesterday, um you guys need to go to my Twitch and watch the clip. I versed Bengal Gaming and I beat him off a walk off in the 11th inning. I versed Bengal. He has 100,000 subs on YouTube. Guys, it was insane. Someone told me that I was versus him, and I didn't believe it. He was on stream, and we beat him, and he called me trash. So you guys got to go check that out first up. And as for usual, guys, drop 10K in the comments, like the vid. I should say 1K in the comments, like the vid. So if you are new for a chance of winning 1K, I mean 10K, but just drop 1K in the comments, like the vid. So if you are new, let's get this video to 80 likes. Uh, it's just going to be another market talk vid. Um, and then on Friday, we got, we're got we probably going to have two to three vids on Friday. Uh, definitely the pack opening. But yeah, guys, uh, let's get into it. So what I've been realizing with the market is that a lot of people's prices are going up. And literally almost every single player on the auction, their prices are going up. So since their prices keep going up and keep going up, I'm just gonna tell everybody to go go ahead and sell your cards either today or before Friday because this is what I'm gonna say so with everybody going up in price it just seems like to me that it's only safe to sell your cards because first of all if you know how like any like auction or anything works if prices keep going up there's always gonna be a time where prices keep dropping so I just don't trust since they're dropping the player of the months on Friday I just don't trust by saving your diamonds and keeping your diamonds for Friday is a good idea it could be a good idea if you think it is but I just don't trust I, I just don't I think the market is gonna be too high before they drop content and if the market's too high before they drop content it could come crashing down badly so I'm not saying it's gonna crash I'm just saying stay prepared I'm selling most of my diamonds actually all my diamonds today and before the update on friday getting ready for the player of the months and not only do you want to sell your diamonds for player of the months you uh when what's it called if you guys don't know how to make stubs off player of the month cards um you just literally all you gotta do is um invest in them when the packs are out they'll be like 35k 40k you're gonna see them skyrocket right when pop packs are gone they drop limited time packs once those limited time packs are out of the store, you're going to see them go up in value and you're going to make a ton of stubs off them. Will this method work? Yes, it should work for everyone. And it worked last time. And their price gaps are always insane. So you could literally make stubs off them the whole year. Uh, like the player of the months now still have crazy price gaps. So that's awesome. But yeah, guys. So I'm just going to go over a bunch of players and I'm going to show you, tell you either to sell or keep. And right now, we're gonna start off with Mr. JD Martinez. I'm just gonna say keep. He's one of the only diamonds I'm gonna tell you to keep just because he's only 19K, he's only 20K. He was about 23, but yeah. So what I've been realizing, so ready? So Carlos Stan went up 4K. He was 20K, he's up 4K. Aroldis Chapman has been at 46K. He was at 40K earlier in the week. Every single player in this, literally every single player you're gonna see has went up a ton of stubs um this is probably the best way to make stubs right now literally simply selling your diamonds because they're just so expensive right now this is the best time to sell your diamonds and invest in player of the month on friday that's what i'll be doing bro blake's now went up 2k uh Tr trey turner the golds are kind of the same a little bit uh okuna did go up he was 5k he's at 5800 now um let's look at the bigger diamonds so let's see lindor lindor went up from 53k to 73k if you guys have lindor go ahead and sell him this is just a risky risky player to hold on to i do not recommend you guys holding on to him this is way too expensive he's an 87 overall keep that in mind definitely should sell kaylee jansen bro he was at 20 to 24k now he was at 20k so another 4k subs that you guys could be making if you picked him up for 20k at least but I would just say, go ahead and sell, man. And his edge is down. Just, uh, I would wait till Friday, then, if his edge is down. Never sell players when their edge is down. It's just not a good idea. Bellinger is up about 3K. 
Everybody is up in price. Kershaw's up about 3K. He was at 17. He's up about 3K. Uh, we got every single player. Bryce Harper was at 26. He's at 28. Not the biggest increase, but yo. I think his price goes up even a little more tonight, possibly. Um, do I think that... No, nah, no. Nah, his price has to go up a little more. Probably another 2K. Austin Riley's price went from 35K to 39K. It was at 45K last week. Now he dropped to 30, like 3K. And now he's back up to 39, 40K. So as you can see, all these diamonds went up. Freeman got an upgrade. His price went up about 5K. Machado is the one of the only cards, him and Martinez. Machado is like, he was at 42K. Now he's at 45K. But like last week, he was at 50-ish K. So will he keep going up? I hope he does. I think I have another one. I have another one waiting to sell. So yeah, Machado is a must sell once he goes to 50K for me. Josh Hader. Josh Hader actually is about 32K for this whole week. Josh Hader went up a ton uh, this week. He was 24K last week. He got named player or pitcher of the month, uh, relief pitcher of the month for the NL. And his price went up like 8K. So he's at 30k now. He was at 34 and then he dropped to 32. But realistically, his price still went up a ton. And honestly, I I think he's gonna hold this value, maybe go back up to 34. But yeah. Alex Bregman got named player of the month. Alex Bregman has been unbelievable. His price went up from 23 to 28k. That's a 5k increase. If you had him for 23k, you're lit. You made a ton of stubs. Um, and also, so I was talking to player of the months. If you guys didn't see my player of the months video. As you can see, bro, if you guys hold on to these cards for, let's say, a week, you'll probably make, like, 30 to 40K stubs off each of these cards. When these cards drop, Glasno, Gerby 8, they're at 40K. Guys, people are selling these cards for 200K, 140K. So just think about that. If you just simply wait a week, which I think we could all do because we could just be grinding the game and waiting for these lousy, I guess you could say, 87 overall diamonds just to go up in value. So, yeah. Um, let's see other players DeGrom, honestly he got downgraded so he didn't go up that much but uh let's see tim anderson altuve oh where is altuve okay so altuve was at 25k he's now at 30k i have one of them bro altuve i i say he keeps going up in value i say he goes up to 35k just stay aware that a lot of these players are going to keep going up right before friday some of them will go up more friday uh, Max Scherzer went up. Max Scherzer is at 44k. He's at 50k now. That's a 6k increase. If you sell him, if you got him for 44k and you sell him, you only make like 1k stubs clean. But I think Scherzer has a chance of going 52k, 51k, make a little extra stubs. Um, Nolan Ryan went up 1k. Even even some veteran, bro. Even some legends in the beginning of the game went up 1k. And yeah, my brother's raging in the back. Like, bro, what is he doing? Uh, Nolan Ryan went up a k. Brendan Rodgers went up a little bit. Christian Yelich. Okay. So Christian Yelich dropped a ton. He's slowly going back up. Christian Yelich was at 5th. No, no. Yelich was at 49K yesterday. He's at the 53.5. If you guys want to pick him up and just pray he goes up another extra thousands, uh, that's a good idea. Um, Let's see what else we got. So literally every card I'm noticing right now has went up a ton. Vlad Jr. didn't go up. Um... Let's see. Um, we got Eddie Murray went up. Batantis went up. Arietta went up. Tory went up. Alex Gordon went up 10K. He was 40K. Mazeroski's about the same. Miggy is about the same. Dunn went up about 4K. Mookie Betts about 3K. Uh, Alomar, no, no. McCovey, who cares about him? So pretty much what I noticed is that all the common diamonds went up this is the time to sell you need to sell asap rocky okay i'm just gonna say this now i just this is the best time to sell i will be selling all my cards as you can see martinez just went up another 500 stubs um literally all i'm gonna tell you guys is to sell now make your stubs now get ready for player in a month get ready to make a ton of stubs and honestly guys that's all i got for you i hope you enjoyed the vid stay tuned for stream tonight Man, this war has been real unreal. We're getting so close to 1K. We're so close. Drop the sub if you're new, man. Let's stay strong. Your boy Bugs is out. Peace. Hey, yo,
Mandiant.